Now we're looking at the Navy, and I'd like to comment that as we are in the committal hall, you'll notice that it's the Army, Marines, and Navy. Now the Navy actually, their birth date, the Continental Navy, is October 13, 1775. They were disbanded after the Revolutionary War, and the Marine Corps actually did sort of stay in line because of a ban. So that's why in order of precedence, it's always the Marines before the Navy, even though the Marines are with the uh, Department of the Navy. So just a little historic note there. With this one, we kind of, I'd like to take you for a development of the branch of service. So initially we look at the executive, we look at the deck, gunnery, navigation, and uh, uh, cannon teams. And so from there, as, as time moved on and we've evolved, you will notice that we have uh, some pilots. So we're, right now, before we go back, I want to concentrate on some of the development in the front. So you see we have the lone sailor who is looking out um, at everything. For instance, he's sort of outside of the painting. The light in all these paintings, I would like to add, does drop from the upper left-hand corner down to the right. However, with the lone sailor, he is sitting outside of the painting, so the light is coming from his right. So as we move down, we then see the Navy chief. The chiefs play a very important, vital role in the Navy. We see two admirals change of command. This is the um, Admiral John Reeves and William Leahy. William Leahy on the right was one of the four or five star admirals of World War II. And we do behind them see a um, burial at sea, something that is very important to Navy personnel. We then continue to the right on the bottom there and you'll see um, Navy SEALs coming in and then again here's where we talk about the development that goes on within the branch because initially we had five different departments now we have many many different things. We then from there you can see deep sea diving. We didn't have diving early on that is a Mark V diving helmet and matter of fact the gentleman who was the lone sailor um, uh, Ray Stump was a diver and he did use that and um, we move then to the clerical prior to uh, World War II and even through World War II, a lot of what women did in, in the uh, branch of the Navy was clerical, nursing, etc. But now just uh, up to her upper right is a woman and a pilot. So now we have pilots, we have women pilots. So I wanted to add that in there and she's pointing to like a bright future. And then we see the gunnery in the back that's symbolic of one of the five uh, developments of the, of the bran early branches. And then we have an engineer, so that weird little thing that the guy that is sort of turning in space is symbolic of turning a valve. We then have a, the CVs in the background, and so you can see uh, another element of the Navy. And down in the lower right-hand corner, we have a little girl who is staring out at us. She is the only person in all five paintings that will be staring out, and that is all about the families. And so it's like the families that are left behind. You know, we always have to remember the families of the individuals who go away on deployments. And so in this case, is uh, dad coming home? Is he leaving? Whatever it might be. But again, it's a tribute to the families. Now let's just move back up to the upper part of the painting, going back to the left-hand side, be just to the left of the lone sailor. And you see a World War II era Gato-class submarine coming in with a broom up top, means a clean sweep. In the flag above the sailor, it's hard to read from right here, but there are names of 13 individuals who brought in new components and new programs in the Navy going back to the very beginning. And that's how we know a branch is developing because of new programs. Then, of course, we have the old Ironsides, the USS Constitution, out on its 200th anniversary voyage. And then we have the Battle of Midway just above that, which was kind of a turnaround after Pearl Harbor. As you move to the center of the painting, you see a parachute dropping down, and that is uh, hi historically important to know of the Navy's involvement with the rescue of the NASA satellites going back to Mercury, Gemini, and the Apollo programs, and so that's what's going on there. And four of the first five, or of seven, excuse me, astronauts were Navy-trained pilots. We move to the right a little bit, and we see the monitor in the mirror back, um, the old Ironside, battleships from ironclad battleships from the Civil War and that changed uh, warfare, naval warfare entirely after that battle was no more the wooden ships. Uh, behind that you will notice way in the distance a little white kind of element that is tribute to Pearl Harbor and so we have the, uh, the uh, monument that is above the Arizona and then behind that you see the the fleets off the Barbary Coast. So again, with the Navy, it's, it's in a nutshell as we move through the development of a branch. I will also just, one final note is the lone sailor, Ray Stump, is actually staring at his gravesite. Ray died while this painting was being 
put together, and it was about three weeks before his death that I actually realized when we hung the painting out here that Ray would be looking at his gravesite. Four and three quarter. Okay. Um, yeah, then we'll go with uh, Air Force. Okay, yep. All right.